It's an amazing sound. Oh my goodness. everybody, welcome back to another episode of No Tears Frontiers. I am Tim No Tear. And I'm Marissa No Tear. And we ride two up on a KTM 1190 adventure motorcycle. We ride all over the world. You can travel with us through our little video series that we do here. We've been through the Americas and Africa, and now we are in lovely Alaska. Yes, that's true. And a big thank you to everybody who supports us, either buying our books, laughing along, shooting us messages commenting here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You guys are, are fantastic, so a yes, huge shout you. out. So in the last episode, we finally made it to- Palmer. Some, yes, Palmer, Alaska, which has uh, more amenities than we had had in a very long time. This is very <laughs> true. Just a shower, laundry, all of that glorious stuff. Thank you, Temple of Moto, for this incredible room. You rock. Look at that view. We Look at this view. Mountains, Palmer Water Tower. Yeah. We have our own bathroom, which we haven't had in. I don't know how long. Shower, toilet. Oh my goodness, it's private. It's our own thing. I, oh, as you can tell, I really need it. Very excited about that. So thank you, Temple Moto. Thank you, brother. And speaking of thanking people, Dave Palmer, we love you. We were in a town with yes. your namesake, and we, we we felt a little warmer at night because. Aww. of our, our friendship that you've always helped us out so thanks a million and we have you know Temple of Moto to thank as well they they hook us up with little little vouchers if you will for 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 staying nice and warm and dry so so thanks yes. to them this is what we needed and yeah we found a little hotel reindeer sausage mm. It was super comfortable. It was. It, it was, was a really nice. great place. Yeah. Now Palmer is gorgeous. Those mountains. Oh yeah. my goodness, they're amazing. And there's a lot of cool things to do in the area. So after we had our shower and then did our laundry, that was all important. very important. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, we decided, hey, let's check out some of the things that they have going on here in Palmer, Alaska. And the first on our list was the muskox farm. Mm. We are packing up to go to the muskox farm today. Um, actually, we're just moving locations currently. We are in a hotel in Palmer, Alaska. Next, we're gonna be going to a little 1960s trailer in the woods somewhere near here. Um, so that should be interesting. But on the way, we decided that since we love musk oxen so much, um, we really wanna check them out a little closer and they have a muskox farm where they take some of the fur and hair that they grow and make wonderful sweaters and other knitted products out of them and actually i'm not sure what else they do so we're gonna find out and new seat cover oh boy. it's probably be like four thousand dollars <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure we're gonna get a, uh, we're gonna get a new seat cover of musk ox, but we'll see. You never know. <laughs> so that should be fun. Our bike got a little dirty in the mud yesterday. Now, 
Now we were lucky enough to see the, uh, a herd, or not, what do they call them? They're a harem, <laughs> right? Am I right? I'm wrong. Um, I don't know what a group of muskoxen is it's, called. I think a harem is when there's one male and some females, yeah. right? A, a gathering of, of <laughs> muskox. That muskox out there is looking right at us. But there was a whole farm where they're trying to, you know, domesticate. domesticate them. And we wanted to see them up close and personal and yes. safely. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, this is my new favorite creature. So any opportunity that we get, we're going to be seeing, you know, seeing Muskox. more. So we made it to the muskox farm. Mm -hmm. This one uh, is no longer being farmed. <laughs> Yeah, they said that we can pet him and we can feed him, yeah. but that he's a bit stuffed. He's a bit stuffed. Bad <laughs> joke of the day. What First they one. needed to do was feed this guy a little more. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. You didn't even know that musk oxen existed. I, this was not a creature that was in my <laughs> current acknowledgement of realm. You know when you play like video games and it's like, you've discovered this new creature and then like you can click out of the screen and read about it? That was, yeah. this was what happened <laughs> for like me. It's like Wikipedia, what is this? <laughs> yeah, crazy. Musk oxen are wild creatures that live up in the Arctic areas of the world. I mean, they stretch mostly throughout the Americas, Greenland, and into Europe, few in Siberia as well. Yeah. Uh, their numbers have declined in recent centuries due yeah. to a lot of overhunting and stuff, but they have a new population. They're making of, a comeback, y'all. Yeah, of wild musk oxen that they've reintroduced to Alaska. These are the Greenland variety. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are doing pretty well this up is there. True. It's like a messed up griffin. You know, it's just yeah. like these, it's like those picture books where you can change the head, the body, and the legs. It was, <laughs> yeah, it was that's like, what it looks like. God sneezed and messed up. And he's like, ah, I'm already here. So <laughs> might as well just put this guy down there. It's got this huge plate that they have over the top of their head, but uh, that plate they use very successfully to ram stuff, just like a goat or yep. a mountain sheep. That is crazy. And that like is crazy. Nasal yeah, the nose so that's looks nasal conche, so and that's to so essentially warm the air up as they inhale it because it's exposing it to a bunch of really warm blood vessels. Oh, nice. oh. So they can waste less energy keeping themselves warm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but I got to, you know, zoom in, throw on my, my lens and get some really close pictures of these little dudes, these big dudes. Yeah. And dudettes. One and of the, dudettes. Yeah. It's every time he turns around. My goodness. That's an amazing sound. Good job on that, dude. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. The baby ones. Oh, just mm. <laughs> just met all everything that I wanted to see that day <laughs> was was totally met. Dudes, dudettes, and babies. And babies, yeah. And his name he was a year old and his name was, was Uno. Uno. Yeah. Our little tour guide, she was fantastic. She was. She, she was, was super amazing. Yeah. So many ox puns. Yes, it was great. She must have had some sort of dictionary that to, it, an ox for dictionary to go through. <laughs> oh, oh, I did it, folks. <laughs> So what they're trying to do at this farm is domesticate these musk oxen. And by that, it means to be able to take their kivut a little bit easier. And that is the wool that they have. Yeah. And they shed it naturally every spring. And so they'll collect it and clean it and card it. And then you can also make yarn out of it. And it is eight times warmer than wool. Isn't that incredible? Fun fact. It is also super soft. You Bonus might think fact. it would be really kind of itchy and scratchy. 
No, it's like silk. Yeah. It's kind of the perfect thing. So in that sense, for keeping you warm, they really want to domesticate these animals. Yeah. And the goal is to eventually have geologically appropriate agriculture for these regions where the cows can't really survive well. Um, and you can have a meat product and also they make milk. So there, it is possible to make yeah. cheese and other dairy products from, but this warm kiviut just sounds amazing from an animal that is used to that harsh, harsh climate. Pretty incredible. Indeed. All right. All right. Enough of the facts. Thank goodness. <laughs> Woo! That, well, every fact I learn, I have to undo a fact. <laughs> well, don't worry. We're about to undo all those facts. All because right. Because the next thing that we did was we went to the Alaska State Fair. This is true. <laughs> We were about to, we like, we got kicked out of our hotel because the Alaska State Fair came into town, so we had to relocate. Booked. Yeah. Fully booked. We picked a day that would have the least amount of rain yes. to go visit the fair. Yeah, and we met, when we were staying in Palmer, uh, a gentleman named Chase saw my bike as he rode by and shot me a message on Instagram. It was like, hey man, you wanna go out for a beer? And I was like, yeah. And so I went and chatted with him. He's super, super duper awesome. He is awesome. He works with the fairgrounds. <laughs> I was super excited. We're on the edge. And I was like the alpha male, like, yeah, we're gonna do the zippity zappity, whoop, whoop, whoop. You know, and Marissa's like, I don't know. And I was like, no, come on, you know. And <laughs> so we did, with the first ride we went on was the uh, the aftershock. Yeah, and, and that was the roller coaster. It was a kind of semi-smallish roller coaster. It wasn't mm -hmm. this huge one, but the first dip. Ooh, it was intense. We're at the carnival. State <laughs> fair. State fair, we're gonna go on. Culture clash or aftershock. Here we go. What's this called? Aftershock. I got to the top of that thing and I was like, oh my god, what did I do? What position did I put my wife and I in? And <laughs> <laughs> then that first turn was like yeah. <laughs> Pretty good for a small roller coaster, yeah. I have to say. And then we did this thing called the zipper and that was it goes up and down, right? And then the whole thing spins, and then the thing you're in spins, and so everything spun. It was way too much spinning. That's it was the one that intense. did us in. Uh, oh, so at first, right, Marissa, before we left, she ate, and she was like, I don't wanna spend a bunch of money on carny food, so I'm gonna eat. And I said, that's good, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hungry right now. And then as soon as we got to the carnival, I'm like, oh, I'm so hungry. And she was like, oh my God, I married a toddler. And then <laughs> I ate this giant pepperoni pizza. <laughs> Like each Greasy. pepperoni was cupping a puddle. Oh a puddle my god! Of a grease. You can do like shots of grease. It's like, mm, thank you. And he ate that. Whole and it was so good. Thing. And the dough was like pretzel. And he <laughs> said, "Let's do some rides yeah. now." And we did. And we did. And the roller coaster wasn't that bad, but the the thing. The, the, should rename it the, the stomach churner. Yeah, the that, zipper. That was really bad. Way too old for this. <laughs> this cage is very small.
stumble out of this thing. <laughs> They had a, a ride called a thousand and one Knox because it's oh, it German. German. <laughs> it was a German whoop de doo whoop. The feeling that this ride is like perfect seasick inducing ride. giant drop thing. The mega drop? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was scary. We're about to do the mega screen mega drop. Oh my goodness, this is my, I think, least favorite ride, because it's scary, oh god. We were far up. We were like Denali height. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. 15,000 feet up there, folks, <laughs> what this thing did. I almost want to just like close my eyes. <laughs> and then you hear go. And then. <laughs> Not fun. I'm old. I'm gonna keep saying that. Long of the short is that. Yeah, we we got we went to New Heights. Yep. And we saw beautiful scenery and the whole of Palmer, you know, spread around us. We saw like glaciers in the distance and yeah. mountains. Yeah, gosh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and the Alaska State Fair had so much more than just the rides. Oh, there were little baby goats. <laughs> Yeah, little goats. There was jugglers. There were there was a juggling man. I didn't do it, but I scared you. <laughs> Snakes. Yeah. There was that pepperoni pizza. Don't don't bring that up again, because <laughs> it already almost came up again. Apparently all of these plants can survive the Alaskan winters here. Yeah, a great, great state fair. an Alaskan thing too, which was really awesome. Yeah. Sometimes you get stuck doing things where just the tourists are doing it, but this was fun to do something where yeah. all the Alaskans are there we're and super excited about it. Passing through town at the same time at the state fair and we're like, well we have to stay another day well, to do to. this. This is this is not something that we'll ever do again. <laughs> Thank you to Chase, yeah, who buddy. first told us about the State Fair. Yeah, your and hospitality. Such great conversation. Yeah. We also want to thank Temple of Moto for the beautiful hotel that we stayed in. Yes. Temple of Moto is a big supporter of us and uh, run by Michele, our good supporter friend. supporter of them. Yes, yeah. they are a motorcycle tour company that they go to Yellowstone, Redwoods, Badlands, Smoky Mountains, um, all over the place. We joined them on a tour through Yellowstone and if you're interested in them, check them out. They are at templeofmoto.com. There's a little bit of a surprise that may I bought a thing. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, buzzword. Yeah. So that will be in the next episode. And I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Ding, ding. And we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.
Peace. But Marissa got her little face painted and looking all yeah. pretty. I was gonna get the Mike Tyson thing, but I decided against it because I'd have to walk around like an idiot for the rest of the day. But. <laughs>